What's up guys, it's Crash again, and man, I am starting to feel like a broken record. It's me again with some more Tom Henderson tweets, but these are actually really cool. Um, so he just tweeted a image of the trailer. It's uh, the only one that is supposedly a first person POV. So this is the tweet, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go over some other tweets real quick that he also posted to kind of put this into context. And then we're gonna switch scenes and we're gonna look at stuff closely and see what we see. So he says, this is gonna be the last one because I don't want to spoil everything, respect that. But this is the only first person POV we get to see and you're hovering in a jet. You can let your imagination run wild as to what happens next. Super cool, you can see the cockpit. Oh man, this stuff looks awesome. So anyway, um, he said he was gonna do a whole flip book of the trailer with him dubbing over the audio but he essentially decides against that. And then in the thing he says, he uh, has it labeled on the image as well. He also tweets, it looks like a Falcon 9 with three massive boosters at the bottom. I had to do a quick image search to see what a Falcon 9 looks like. We will also look at that later. So let's switch scenes and take a look at this image. All right, so here's a bigger image of this bad boy. And you and I are looking at it for the first time together. So there might be something that I miss, but let's kind of explore this thing together. If I do miss something, if you guys see something cool, let me know in the comments below because I am just excited and I wanna be able to see everything on this image. So let's look at it together. The first thing, let's look at the obvious stuff first. Um, there is a lock on to a flying jet. Now he he's saying that we're hovering in a jet, right? So you can see the, the A-frame of the cockpit on both sides. Um, Kind of the thing that's biggest in the middle is the 200 uh, foot Falcon 9 like rocket. Um, that's in the middle of the image. 15 plus people down below, alluding to larger team sizes. I wonder if they're fighting or what's going on down there. Um, I'm not sure what these numbers mean. It looks like they could be compass headings. So if you kind of lock out what's going on in the back, you can see some things about the HUD. And this kind of stuck out to me a little bit later. Um, if we zoom in, we can see a compass right here, it looks like. It looks like maybe facing north or west, I'm not sure. And then um, we also have, it looks like elevation marks right here. And that's what these numbers could be um, heading and possibly uh, azimuth or elevation. Um, and yeah, locked on to a flying jet. So, I mean, we're almost a hundred percent confirmed we're, that we're in a modern setting where everything, um, up until EA saying that it's true. So, I mean, this is, we're almost there <laughs> confirmation wise. And then here's our, uh, lovely tornado again. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Let's, let's hope that this is just to show off the frostbite engine. We are in a trailer. I don't want to see a tornado coming through every multiplayer match every time. But um, it is going to be cool to see whether dynamic events could be fun if they don't impact gameplay too much. Um, just scrolling around. I also noticed the HUD down here, and this looks really cool. This, um, this is honestly something that's fairly major in my opinion. Um, you can start to see a little bit of the HUD. I don't know if that's how much ammo you have left, but it looks like, uh, kind of like we've seen historically in battlefields, uh, your different gadgets and possibly your different size bombs, weapons, missiles that are on your jet you're hovering on. And you know, he's saying you're hovering in a jet that fits in with the Ospreys that we saw earlier, the, uh, the planes that have the vertical propellers and then can switch to uh, full flight forward mode and turn the propellers forward and fly. Um, so that would uh, match up with that, having a hovering jet with a near future setting as well. Then the other thing, I have to move it from behind my beautiful face, is, I'm gonna have to move my beautiful face. Let me, uh, let me bow out for just a second. Um, right here, you can see the mini map. So that's pretty cool. Um, not sure if our POV is in the middle or what, 
but you can see that the game will have a mini map even when you're in the cockpit. So it sounds like the trailer is not going to tell us much like HUD gameplay style. He's saying this is the only image in the trailer where we are first person. So yeah, I'm just trying to look and see if I see anything else. It looks like uh, we're in an urban setting, you know, more skyscrapers and things like that. The building destruction could actually look really cool with the tornado uh, wiping through that. Try to think if I see anything else, I really don't see too much. Um, but yeah, this stuff is all also uh, specific. He has to have seen this trailer. Um, I kind of almost appreciate him not leaking everything because I feel obligated to tell you guys about it because it's out there. But I also, I want that feeling of seeing it for the first time. I remember the Battlefield 1 trailer when that thing played. Oh, I watched it over like 10 or 15 times because it was just so good. And I, I want that stuff to be fresh. So leaks are really cool and they get us excited, but I, I'm with Tom on this. I hope he's kind of done with this so that we still get the excitement of watching everything for the first time and it's not spoiled. Um, yeah, so I think that's all I have for now. If you guys, like I said, if you guys see something else, let me know. I would love to uh, hear from you guys if there's something that I missed. But other than that, I'll be keeping an eye out and we will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.